What's up guys, Eric, I've got the Arma Mojave EXB. Um, I'm gonna give this thing a, a quick little run, but first I just wanted to go over a couple things, a couple of tips uh, that, that I've had to do to it. Um, I actually had it out a few days ago to try to give it a bash at that uh, rock pit um, when I took the creating as well, but I kept having issues with the drive shaft popping out. Like every time I would hit, you know, any kind of little rock pile or any kind of uh, you know, rough terrain and, and the shocks would uh, compress, the drive shaft would pop out. It was getting pretty annoying. So I just uh, set it aside and I decided to uh, try to, you know, do something to remedy that, which I'll go over in just a second. Um, as far as the inside here, if you guys notice, um, I'm running this huge fan, this stack right here on the ESC. And big shout out to Anthony Jagowski. He sent me these fans to try out. Um, again, I got one on the ESC that I kind of engineered on there. Uh, but this is this is what they look like. Uh, it's got a heat sink with it. And he just loves building these. He does it for a hobby. So if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll put his email address in the description. You can just contact him and he'll he'll build one to your spec or just or whatever your application is. Um, he has all kinds of different sizes, uh, different size heat sinks and stuff like that. These are super, super powerful. So I'm going to see, uh, you know, how they hold up. Again, as far as the one I put on the ESC, the fan went out. So I just, I was able to, uh, I just took it off the heat sink. I was able to run two stainless bolts down into the top of the heat sink of the ESC and then uh, run a zip tie on here. So it's not going anywhere. I, mean, I don't really jump this truck as far as big airs and stuff. So I don't see an issue, uh, you know, with it, with it sitting up there. So we're just going to see how it does, but it's definitely going to keep the ESC cool. It's got some major uh, wind to it. I'll fire one up in a second just to, just so you can hear it. Uh, but as far as, uh, as far as the single most important upgrades for this truck, guys, I would highly recommend, as I've gone over before, the plus two millimeter uh, M2C racing hexes right here. Uh, this really gives you the insurance of keeping them wheels on and, uh, you know, keeps them from flying off and stripping out hexes, uh, etc. Again, it's got two uh, wheel nuts on it. You crank the first one down and then uh, crank the second one down with just a dab of thread lock and you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. And the other most uh, important upgrade I would recommend is M2C Racing's uh, rear tower support uh, brace right here. I haven't put this on yet. Uh, Dennis Scott from Three Sons RC did an awesome uh, installation video um, of that brace. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll also put a link for that in the, in the uh, description. I'm not going to babble on too much. I just want to show you exactly what I was talking about as far as the uh, drive shaft that kept popping out and what I did to hopefully fix this. Um, it's probably hard to see in this camera right here, but under full compression of the shock, uh, the drive shaft was basically just popping out. And it was also digging into the arm right there really bad and, and gouging it out. So what I did is I basically put in some shock limiters so that it can't over uh, compress um, and cause the uh, a drive shaft to pop out under any kind of arm flex and stuff like that. It still bottoms out, which is which is good. Um, I used a uh, just a boat cooling line. You can use fuel line. And I just cut out like a little quarter inch uh, a piece and, and stuck it down inside the uh, shock shaft right here and then ran the uh, uh, shock rod end back on and, you know, and put it all back together. So it uh, limits the down travel so that hopefully it's not going to overextend everything and cause this drive shaft to pop out. So hopefully that's going to work. We're going to uh, give that a test. And, and I'm going to give you a, a sample of uh, fire up of this fan real quick. This thing's got some mega power. She basically sounds like a uh, jet engine getting ready to take off, so. <laughs> I mean, that is some super wind, guys. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. Didn't have any uh, overheating issues with that fan. So we'll just see how they hold up in bashing. As far as the overall setup of this truck, guys, I'm still running the the uh, Hobby Star 1480 uh, KV in here with the Max 6 uh, 25 tooth pinion. Um, she does cog just a tad on a hard uh, a startup throttle, so I may go to a smaller spur and then downsize the pinion just a little bit to uh, try to remedy that. Um, but I switched out to 50K in the front uh, diff. A uh, 200,000 in the center and still running the stock 10 in the rear. I like to keep the diff action of this truck uh, for, for its handling uh, capabilities, so I don't want to go too thick in the oils. I went ahead and switched out to 725 in the front shocks as well, so I'm running 725 CST, which is roughly 55 weight oil, and uh, she just feels super, super plush. So, can't wait to give it a quick run. Alright guys, got the Mojave out here. This fan's kind of loud. Again, it's super, super powerful. I did go ahead and hook it up to a little mini uh, 2S pack right here. I just kind of piggybacked on top of this battery. Um, uh, he can uh, make it with little leads where it plugs into your uh, balance port to the batteries. So if I was running two 3S, I could just plug this into the balance lead of one 3S. So for right now, I'm just going to do this since I'm running a 6S pack. So uh, let's see what's up.
Oh, <laughs> that was kind of harsh for the old Mojave, but she took it. Yeah, this is one tough truck. Guys, this thing is a hoot to drive. Such a little battle axe. Oh! Guys, this thing gets kind of sideways in the air and it's over. Alright guys, that's it. I just wanted to get out for a quick little run with her, test out the uh, suspension mod uh, with the limiter and it definitely helped. I had no issues with the drive shaft popping out and uh, all that held together nicely. It looks like I lost a body mount right here, but <laughs> so far the fan from uh, Anthony Jagowski is holding up. Again, huge shout out to him. Let me unplug it because it's so loud. <laughs> um, everything else on the truck looks like it held up nice. The chassis, chassis is still straight. Again, this is the stock EXB chassis. I'm still not 100% happy with my overall suspension setup on this truck running such a heavy electronic system. Uh, the thicker shock oil, the 55 weight, definitely definitely dampens her nice and she's nice and butter smooth. But I just I just need a little bit more rebound, especially uh, you know in rougher terrain and stuff like that, so she doesn't just just sit there and plow the ground. Um, so we'll we'll play around with that a little bit more and uh, see what's up with that. And also uh, we're gonna be working on some shock caps for it too and a piston setup, you know, specifically for the Mojave with M2C Racing. So that'll be coming up in the future. Big shout out to Arma once again for another awesome option in the EXB line. This truck is just a true tank and it's so fun to build and customize. And a big shout out to Mitch Looper from M2C Racing as well for his constant drive, uh, you know, to make these things that much tougher. But anyway, all right guys, we'll get out again soon. RC Dude 81, peace out.